Hey guys, so in the previous tutorials I showed you how you can use Read Editor and Blockly Editor to integrate those in your own websites through the export function and this time we will talk about TypeScript and integrate that via the same export command. So you see here the Blockly variant of the script that we've created and here we have the Read code that we've created and we integrated it through this code base here on the stack blitz. Um, in this tutorial, we will not explain how this works. Uh, we will just go here and start coding in Monaco. So let's start and let's do that. Let's create that cube geometry that is filleted first, and then let's integrate it via the runner inputs and outputs to the prepared website. So let's do that. Let's start it out. Let's do this boilerplate function that we call start. We do that quite often, so I'll say that it's async and then it's an arrow function. And now we will also say that we execute it in here. But first thing that we have to do is we have to create the cube. And we'll do that by using bit by bit OST shapes solid create cube command. We'll say that the cube will be of size one and it will be on the center zero 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 so points are represented by these arrays of three numbers in bit by bit and that's quite nice so another thing that we will do is we will fill it uh, this cube and we will see that filleted cube constant is assigned to await bit by bit ost fillets and then fillet edges this is the command we were using and then we say that the radius will be 0.4 the shape that we'll use is the cube and that's it so that's nice and another thing that we need to do is we want to use the draw command you remember from previous tutorials that we use entity of filleted cube so this is it and now if we execute this code you will see a similar result to what we had before in this Blockly code base and in this read environment. So this is quite simple. But now what we need to do is we need to first we will be getting inputs from the runner and to do that we'll use this command which is called bit get bit by bit runner inputs. So this will give us all the inputs that we can. We will define a type for the inputs. So the inputs type will be size of number and we will say that the inputs is of type inputs another thing that we will do is as in blockly we did this logic gate if inputs did not exist for size you know we were setting it to one by default and this is something that we need to do here but we have this convenience method called mock bit by bit runner inputs so we'll set size to one and this function will basically run every time that we're in this context of TypeScript and when we will be in the runner context on our own website you know this will be ignored this value so now if I say that the size is not one but it comes from inputs dot size it should still work right so this is all fine now our inputs are set up and another thing that we need to do is we need to set our outputs and if you remember, we expect to get the cube mesh. And I'll say that this is cube mesh that is produced through this draw function. And I will await it. So it's an await that we also used here. You see that we've awaited on the draw any async command. And we do the same thing here in TypeScript. We get the cube mesh. So this is something that we need. And then we return this cube mesh as an object from the start function. So let's say let's return. Let's add it into this object as a property. So here we will say that this start function produces the runner output. And we will pass this output along via this command set bit by bit runner result. And we're giving it runner output constant like this okay now that we have this we can just change this uh, cube color and let's do that by creating options here 
I'll do it via the constant of draw options. And we'll use bit dot inputs draw draw simple options. So we initiate this class. We say that the draw options face color will be blue. So we use hexadecimal uh, encoding here and it will be like this zero 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 ff and we'll see that the width of the edges will be one and we'll say that the precision will be 0 0.005 this is exactly what we had here in this component and also what we had here in this component we see that read and blockly and TypeScript overlap in their features so this is quite nice and now we'll tell options to be assigned to draw options and we will hit run again and now our cube is looking exactly the same as it looks like in blockly and read editors so let's test this code out let's export to runner and let's just copy this code let's go here let's paste it in here and you see that we have our cube again our sort of hello world application running let's see if this size works so let's increase it Oppa. so we increased it to three four and we can decrease it as well so now this functions in exactly the same way that the code in blockly functions and the read code and you see that actually this produces quite a short code but read is even more expressive that's quite nice right so this is fun to code and it's also uh, helping us uh, learn a little better you know how to write typescript when we have these sort of representations of the same thing so another thing that we can do is of course you can minify this code uh, because it's typescript you get quite a nice looking uh, minified code it's quite short and concise and effective so this is nice so because we're using typescript we have even more ways to integrate that code into the stack blitz and i'll just show you how to do that so we have this run method and what we can do is say that we have a result here of this run method we will declare bit by bit uh, here and we will declare bit here and we'll say that these are assigned to the res bit by bit and bit is assigned to res dot bit and you may already understand where i'm going with this so this code that was giving us inline script isn't really needed anymore we don't need to execute it here what we can do is we can simply comment it out then we can go here and we can pick this up go back to the stack blitz and let's do it like this let's remove this size here we should say that we assign res to the whatever comes from the start function and we also must wait on this result as we did here with executing the script so if we go ahead now and increase the size the cube will increase as well and if we decrease it it decreases the size so this is quite cool right because you can just take the code that is written here in this editor and put it in here uh, what we did we cloned this directly but of course it is TypeScript so uh, you have to realize that TypeScript is not exactly the same as JavaScript and if you will copy some TypeScript code here like this uh, for example type inputs you will see that it's not really understood uh, as a valid thing in here in this environment so what you can do is always export to runner and here you actually see a javascript variant of the same thing that was here in typescript so this is quite convenient i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i think you begin to understand that runner is not only able to run the scripts that we export but you can actually code uh, all kinds of things uh, that you can code 
in the, by the directly here in your own website. So this is quite an important uh, thing to realize. Uh, but in case you really enjoy coding uh, programs through visual programming editors like these ones, or you may have you know some scripts in Read, some scripts in Blockly, uh, who knows, maybe you are an educator who needs that, then this is really convenient to realize that they all overlap and that you can mix and match those uh, in your own websites. Uh, okay, guys, so this is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let's see each other in the next videos. Cheers.